Today marks the start of the 2022 Atlantic hurricane season. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, gathers data by flying over through and around storms. The data helps in identify the intensity of the storms and forecast the track. And as meteorologist Melissa Nord reports, this year the hurricane hunters will have drones as a new tool. Lieutenant Commander Becky Shaw pilots NOAA's P-3s, one of the few people on Earth who willingly fly into a hurricane. I flew the whole 2021 season, and I think it's about uh, seven hurricanes. But there are some areas even she won't go. Enter drones. With these uncrewed systems, we can now collect data in the parts of the storm that we don't want to be. NOAA has been testing three models of uncrewed aircrafts that drop out of the Hurricane Hunter planes and collect data in the lower areas never captured before. A crew member will be flying the drone while on board the P-3. We're going to launch it in a tube form. It'll spread its wings in flight and it will fly at a low altitude while we're at um, our normal 8 to 10,000 foot altitude and we'll be collecting data from both aircraft. Unlike drop zones, which take a snapshot of the conditions as they fall to Earth, the drones can stay in the air for hours. To be able to fly at those altitudes in and out, it's going to be, it's going to change a lot of what we know about these storms. The crews have been testing the aircraft's abilities to safely drop from the plane, stay in range, and collect accurate information. For the first time this year, they will be sent into actual storms. The single mission drones have one moment in the sun or really in the storm. We're responsible for making sure it's not going to hang out out there and go find a ship or go find another plane. So we make sure that the um, the system uh, will land on the water. It'll ditch into the water once we get all the data off of it.